new Ezekiel Elliott would return from his holdout in shape on running in week one. According to Adam Schefter, Jerry was right about Zeke staying in shape. <laughs> Zeke has been working out in Cabo while missing camp, and apparently it's showing. His weight is reportedly down in the low 220s, which would be his lowest weight since entering the league. Zeke was 228 last season. Rob, do you think Zeke is going to be back with the Cowboys in week one? I'm not convinced. I mean, I, I don't understand. Uh, Jerry has the money. Uh, he knows how important Ezekiel Elliott is. Ezekiel's been real strong on, I'm not playing, I'll sit out, whatever I got to do to get paid, and I get it. The CBA doesn't work for running backs in this league. He's not going to be one of these guys who gets used up and then, uh, or maybe gets hurt, doesn't get paid. I, this guy has led the league in rushing a couple uh, years. They've won two out of three division uh, in the NFC East. All this stuff is all laid out for Jerry Jones, who's been dying to win another championship, right? Hasn't won, has won a handful of playoff games in 25 years since he took control of... Because, you know, they runs the Cowboys like a mom-and-pop store. Hey, open up the cash register and pay Ezekiel Elliott right now. Stop with the game. Stop with him being in Cabo. Get him in camp. Pay this guy. And, and, and that's why you're playing chicken. I believe Jerry Jones thinks this is Emmitt Smith uh, part two. Mm. He's looking at the schedule saying, Greg, I got two or three easy games to start the season. I'll make this kid sweat. We'll go two, or th two and oh or two and one or three and oh to start the season, and he'll be knocking on my door about coming back. And I think he's playing a dangerous game. That's why I don't believe Jerry has any incentive. If he was playing three tough teams to start the season and he could start the season realistically, 0-3, this would be over. He's trying to roll the dice and play a game that could wind up burning Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. I don't understand. Pay people who produce, pay, and that's what he's Pay done. him what, the Le'Veon Bell money or the Todd Gurley money? Pay that guy what he deserves. Okay. And, and whatever that is, you got to figure it out. Okay. You, 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 you got yachts, you got plenty of money. It's not like the Cowboys don't have money to pay. Greg they Jennings, do. will Ezekiel Elliott be there in week one against the rival New York Giants. Ezekiel Elliott will be present week one okay. with the Dallas Cowboys. Can, we, can I get some chicken wings on this? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. All flat. All Parmesan for the cloth. reasons you mentioned. Because Jerry Jones has the money. Because he said earlier, when has he never gotten a deal done? And then he understands what is before them. The opportunity that lies in front of them is too great. There is too big of a risk to not have Ezekiel Elliott in the lineup come week one. I don't, you, you, you throw out these first three games with the Giants and the Redskins and the Dolphins. The Dolphins, let's just, let's throw them out. Let's start with the first two games. These are division games. It, I don't care what the record of either of these teams were last year, what their roster configuration is, it's a division game. This is a well-known opponent. You know you need your full roster to go against teams like this. So to give me this, oh, Jerry Jones is okay with starting without Ezekiel Elliott? No, he is not. He's been down this road before. Another point you made. This is Emmitt Smith 2.0. So he has been down this road, and you know what happened then. It he backfired rolled a, he on He rolled the dice. He and rolled, he and then he rolled up his sleeves and, and, and initially and rolled them sleeves right back down. You know what he said that, that strikes me? Remember the statement he made about uh, an educated right. man or bleeding grabbing, out. not bleeding. bleeding out? This is an educated man. He's letting us know, look, I've been educated in this before with this same position, with the same status type player who we really ran our offense through. So I'm not going to be uneducated and not get this man in here yeah. when I need him yeah. in here. Right now, he, he wasn't going to play in the preseason anyway. He wasn't going to get any preseason snaps. Mm -hmm. That's what we do now. That's what we see with these running backs, with these top players, That's even receivers, point. skill guys. So we're not concerned about that. It, is, he concern, is he trying to make sure that he stays in shape? Would he like for him to be visible so he can lay his eyes on them? Yes. But week one, Ezekiel Elliott will be in that Dallas Cowboy helmet week one. So I looked at the calendar, 23 days until the season opener. And 
I always look for the story behind the story, okay? Let's think about this normally. Why would this story come out right now? Why would Zeke's agent be putting this out with a long time to go before week one? My theory is because Ezekiel Elliott's not getting what he wants from Jerry Jones. Jerry's holding firm. I think Rob Parker's correct here. I don't think Jerry's gonna pay him. I think Zeke's holding out, and that's why his agent's putting out, oh, you're not gonna give us your money? Hey, Zeke's in the best shape he's ever been in in his career. And I think Zeke right now is on the losing end of the negotiations, and I think Jerry Jones is botching this badly, Greg Jennings. You can shake your head all you want. Jerry Jones, he is a shrewd businessman, but Greg, I'm telling you, I think Jerry botches this. He's not seeing the forest through the trees. Those first three games are cake. Have you looked at the schedule after that? They should the play. next four games are brutal. They could be three and four. You could be setting up. I'm telling you. This and instead, team you could wind up with a wild card rather than winning wild the card. division. I don't know that they're a playoff team without Zeke Let, Elliott. Let's be realistic. Let's, let's be realistic. Although Jerry Jones is a shrewd businessman, he understands, like, as you mentioned, what's at stake here. And he understands the caliber player that he does not have on his, on his football team present in training camp right now. Week one, it, it, when you have an opportunity to do something special, and the Dallas Cowboys has, has that opportunity that lies before them to do something special, you want to give your guys the best possible chance to exercise all of that. Meaning, if I have a Dak Prescott and I haven't seen him have success Without this guy in the backfield, why would I start the season without him in the backfield when it, I can ultimately get him there? Because you have an ego and you think, <laughs> I'm running this. This yeah. is my team. I'm not going to let... Can hey. He can yep. still have his ego. But that's but what it is. His ego will be stroked when Ezekiel Elliott is back there and is proven that... I'm not saying he has to pay him Ty Gurley money. He wouldn't even pay Emmitt Smith at the time when they had all those great players and they had a chance to make a... A run, which yeah. they wind up They doing won it. the Super Bowl they when became, Emmitt came back. They but they, they, he also said he's not going to pay him girly money. Well, then Zeke ain't coming. Ezekiel Elliott knows his worth. And as we talked about with Reggie Bush yesterday here, these running backs have a short shelf life. Ezekiel Elliott's not putting his neck on the line. Le'Veon Bell last year, he sat out the whole damn season. I mean, like, Zeke has two years left. I think, Look, the, I, I think I, the running backs saw what happened, and they all realized this CBA doesn't work for us. I'm going to get my money. I'm not going to let them burn me out and not get paid again, and I think that's why. I think I'm with you. Ezekiel Elliott is serious. I can see him, like, saying, I'm not going to do it unless you pay me. And I understand where Zeke's coming from. I think we're on the same page here, Jennings. I, I hate that we're you ganging up. You understand where Zeke's I, coming I, I, from? Yeah. Ezekiel Elliott wants that money. He sees all this talk about Dak Prescott, who we agree. We all agree. Dak is dollars. not the most important player on this offense. It's Ezekiel Elliott. And they're talking about giving Dak 30 to 40 million? But you can't, see, this is, no, you don't understand it then. Because you can't, you can't cross, look at a quarterback position where their, their market has been set. This is not uh, Ezekiel Elliott versus Dak Prescott issue. But Zeke this is proven, Dak is not. It doesn't matter. My point is the market is set well, for quarterbacks you... and the market is what it is for running backs. So this is this has nothing to do That's with why, Dak to Prescott. Me, it seems like it's a harder deal to get done because it's easier with Dak because of where the market is set and you kind of feel yes. like, am I right? And, and then the running back, it's all over the place, right? The Rams did girly with the big money, so people look at that. Then the Jets... With Le'Veon Bell was a little was less. Melvin so people Gordon are saying Melvin out. Gordon's yeah. holding out. So so this is why this is a little more difficult because of what Ezekiel Elliott thinks he's worth. So he's saying, wait, if Dak, is so, if Dak is so easy, why isn't that done? Because because he, they don't have to do it until next year. They can still wait. They can tag him. You're and right. he's present. Right. He's, he's he's not holding out. He's not holding out. Not right. So, so there's no there's no do, dire uh, mercy. I, I don't believe that Ezekiel Elliott is going to top Ty Gurley. I do not believe that. So I does that mean that he's going to come back and go But I do home? believe he will be back in and sign the contract that is higher than what Le'Veon Bell said. Le'Veon Bell did the running backs a disservice by signing his deal less than what Ty Gurley got. Obviously, I, I don't believe any there was anyone out there that would have paid him more than Ty Gurley because he did sit out another a year and had a year out of football. So you're not going to pay a guy who where you have a guy like Ty Gurley who's proven to do this consistently year after year and he's not sitting out. So Ezekiel Elliott 
he can want to sit out all he wants, but he's not going to get more than Todd Gurley. And if he does, congratulations. Well, I mean, you I saw what happened. Happen. Gurley got his big deal, then he got hurt. All right, Devonta oh, Freeman got his. Oh, no, no, Devonta Freeman. No, this is what that. Jer- I'm giving you the Jerry Jones argument. Devonta Freeman got paid week one of the next season, injured out. These running backs, all the guys that got the top money, all the top running backs, they get hurt. Running backs, they say they're replaceable. I'm telling you, this is what Jerry Jones. Running backs get hurt. Did Jimmy Garoppolo get hurt? Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt. Okay, people get hurt in the NFL. Stop. You can't just say running back. Uh, I mean, the numbers. Jimmy Gar- did he get not get a big contract? He got hurt. Exactly. Come on now. Stop. Stop. You can't just say running back. You're comparing back a running back to a quarterback. A quarterback's shelf life is 15, look, 16 look, years. But people get hurt Jason, is my problem. Running backs are seven, explain, eight years Let me years explain tops. to you how the National Football League works. Please explain, This Greg. is why money is not guaranteed because they understand the risk of injury. This is why there's hesitation and apprehension on the side of those who are going to be handing and dishing out the money. Which is why Zeke's not going to show up in week one. You're arguing for us. No, I'm not arguing for you. You're making it seem like these owners and those who are handing out this money in these contracts don't understand the risk of if we pay them, they can still potentially get hurt. It's a part of the game. But can you live with it? Can we still be successful even if that risk actually happens? Even if that happens that someone gets hurt? It happens every single year. To running backs. More than any other position that matters on the skills. Greg, I'm sorry. I feel bad. I feel bad doing that. But you're incorrect here. All right, Lamar Jackson was fun to watch last night. But are you really sold on him as an NFL quarterback? We'll discuss that next. 